Hey everybody, welcome back to PE at Home with Mr. Gambino. Today, we're gonna be playing Wooden Spoon Balloon Relay. The first thing that you really need is a nice day. We have nice weather today outside, but it's a little bit windy, so we can't do this activity. You can adapt it to do it inside, but preferably you want to do it outside. With wooden spoon balloon relay, we'll be working on consecutively uh, volleying a balloon with a short handled implement. This will be our paddle, right? And we'll be working on our speed. It's one of the skill related fitness components, our speed today. So those are two things that I want you to think about that you're working on. The equipment that you're gonna need are three laundry baskets and you're gonna need maybe I would say four to six balloons, depends how many you want to hit in. If you don't have balloons, you could blow up Ziploc bags. I've had parents telling me that they've used gloves. You can be creative. Like anything else, this game is going to be fun with a partner. So try to get a partner. If you can't find a partner, that's okay. You can compete against yourself. So I couldn't get this video in today, but I have a video of Justin Cahill. He's the one who came up with this activity. I have him and his kids doing the activity. They're going to show you how to play. Exhausting. That's what the game looks like. Thank you again to Justin Cahill for coming up with that interesting activity. Um, you can check out his channel. He's got a couple different activities on there. So if you're ever bored or need an idea to move, he's another resource you can use. Before you go, I just want to ask you a couple questions to think about. What does safe partici participation with a paddle look like? Remember, your paddle in this game was the wooden spoon. But in other sports like ping pong, we have the smaller paddle. So what does safe participation look like with a paddle? How is safe participation different from unsafe participation? Think about that. And lastly, how is safe participation related to improving your skills? Remember, in our class, we're always trying to get better each and every day. Have a great day. Think about those questions, and I'll see you next time.